Hey everybody, it's Joan here on my walk with Finn this morning and come on Finn, let's go. He's at the pool of let's smell, <laughs> find out all the news. Um, you know, you know, when you, the stories you tell create what happens, what is around you, what is, what you believe, what you believe what you believe actually comes true. The stories you tell, of course, are true and you believe them. So it is how it's supposed to be. So what you believe comes true. And um, I'm going to give you uh, an example. Finner, sit. Finner, sit. So like when you say, sit. when you say, um, I don't know how to do something, right? Then you're really telling yourself you don't know how to do it. Sure, you don't know how to do it, but what if you told yourself, like, I'm going to learn how to do something. Come on. And um, a big one for me is uh, I have Fenris, who um, is a timid dog, but loving, and, you know, he's a little afraid, and <clears throat> but... He does what I, ask. of course he's seven now, so I should hope so, that he does what I ask him to do. But um, and then we got a puppy, Rose, and she is reactive and afraid of absolutely everything, but she's the opposite of Fen. Instead of being timid and hiding behind me, um, she is reactive. So she, <clears throat> she wants to, she's the fight and he's the flight. <laughs> Come on, let's go. And... So I kept saying, I don't know, you know, what I can try. I don't know what else to do. I don't know. And then I said to myself, like, because then I believed it. Like, nothing I watched was something I didn't do, you know. And um, then I decided to choose different wording, choose different thoughts, and choose different beliefs that I'm going to learn how to help her. And so for the past little while, that's what I've been doing. I haven't been watching other trainers because that was what I was doing the first while. I know so much information in my own self, not just from, from having my own dogs, but from doing, um, like working at places, doggy daycares and uh, dog training places and um, the SBCA. When I worked there, I have lots of inf lots of information on everything. So I knew I know a lot of what I'm doing, and I even thought, you know, okay, well, maybe if I take some sort of course, become a trainer, so that I can get even more information. And I'm o overloading myself information in information instead of studying my student, which is Rose, and instead of uh, figuring, out, okay, what works, right? So catch the little things that work and go from there. And of course, building her confidence up, which is a big thing. So I started telling a different story and I started saying, I'm going to learn to figure out exactly what it is that she needs. And today we went on our walk uh, through, the, through the time that I've had her now. I've found different things that work. So I implement them every way now. Instead of trying something new, I'm implementing what works and staying with that. Now things change with her. She learns to not pay attention to that. And uh, she doesn't, she's, anyway, she's a very interesting dog. But what I wanted to tell you was that she now, today, we walked further in a different area than we normally walk and in a normal area that we walk. So we walked further than what we normally do. And although there's not a lot of people out today, there still was people. And I got her to not bark. She only had one time where she got really scared and barked at these people. But I got her to sit and to stay and to um, walk with me instead. Like to watch them. It's okay. Get her to refocus back to me. Let her guard down. And she walked with me. Um, and then we ran for a little bit. I shouldn't really run, but don't tell anybody. <laughs> Um, and we 
we got past the, the scary part for her and then she was back to exciting and happy and okay, let's do this, I got this. And she didn't bark and it was amazing. So start telling yourself a different story. Um, if you don't know how to do something, you can always learn it. It's, there's so much information, uh, <laughs> tons of information out there on what you can do next. Um, what what you can try, what you can um, do for it. So that's just one one. Okay, let's sit for a minute. One situation. Um, another one. You know my 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 knee, right? The one my knee and my leg. Um, this is Fenris. We're gonna sit here for a minute. You will see him. He's so handsome. Such a handsome guy. He's just a handsome guy. Um, and um, same thing, you know, I would tell myself that I have no idea what to do with my knee and, and uh, like, I can't take painkillers, so that's out of the question. So for a long time, I've just stayed in pain. And then I decided I was going to try something different. And then I just started doing some research on another thing that I have medically. And um, I thought, you know what, I'm going to start eating more not just healthy, but I'm going to start eating anti-inflammatory foods. So, because with my knee and leg issue, I can't get enough anti-inflammatory, like I can't take anti-inflammatory, so um, hard for it to relax and heal, right? Especially when you're using it all the time. But I can't not use it all the time. I'm a very busy person. Yes, I do take rests, but I just can't sit around. So, what do I do? Let's eat healthier foods that are for me instead of um, healthier foods that aren't for me. So I have begun eating anti-inflammatory foods and yes you can research and find out there is anti-inflammatory foods in case you didn't know that. And also I've started using this um, CBD oil rub on it and it works amazing, amazing. Not that I don't get pain still, of course I do. Today's a really good day because it's really sunny out and nice and gorgeous and I just love it. And another thing that really works for me is light yoga. Now there's different kinds of yoga and this one that I do, morning yoga, really, really, really seems to work. When I don't do it, then um, it really affects it. So I'm really going to be on the ball with doing that one and uh, every day instead of every other day or <laughs> once a week or um, and then just do my walking and of course do everything else that I do. But you can heal yourself by the thoughts you tell, so the stories you tell. The more you talk about your pain, the more you're going to experience your pain. And I know that there's going to be pain obviously but you can change your story about it it's getting better um, it's better than when I started because it really is when I started I had to use crutches I couldn't walk on it at all are you ready to go for your walk he says I'm ready I'm ready mom I needed to take a break because I already took Rose and then I take him so and I'm still working on healing so um, I'm healing one step at a time is another one I use there are things you can say. So when somebody goes, how are you? I'm good. How's your leg? It's, it's good, you know? Instead of going, oh, and focusing on that, because then you're just bringing your awareness back to that instead of going, no, you know what? I had a good day today. It's 100% up to you on how you choose your words, the stories you tell, and how you can create better stories, how you can create better thoughts, better experiences and this goes for everything not just um, walking a dog or or, uh, or healing yourself but this goes for absolutely everything um, you want you want the perfect job for instance um, you want to you want to um, meet the perfect person you know the one for you you can start telling that story so every day Every day be aware of what you're thinking about, what story you're telling about that person, the person that you want to come into your life. 
you know, talk about what they're like, you know, um, romantic, uh, a great kisser, <laughs> or um, they like to whatever hobby you like to do. They love animals or, you know, whatever it is that you really want in that person. And make sure it's all about, like, make sure that the words you're using is exactly what you want. Because sometimes the word you use is exactly what you get. So be careful, but don't be too careful. Don't worry about it too much. Just allow yourself to imagine. Tell a better story, you know, like... Um, so if you're, okay, if you need a job, let's say, right? Or you want this special job, right? You talk about, tell the story about how you're going to get it, you know? So I'm going in for this interview and I'm going to knock it out of the park. Instead of being all nervous about it and I don't know what to do next. And, you know, tell the different story. Tell a better story than what you're telling now. Because... Penrose pulls me all the way around so he can smell something. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> because the stories you tell create the life you have. The stories you already told created where you are now. So it's time to change them. Come on, let's go. Time to create better, more empowering, fun stories of health, love, um, peace, experiences, jobs, whatever, health, wealth, and happiness. It's all up to you. Start creating the stories. Start telling the stories. Start living the stories. Believing it. Believing in you because your belief is exactly what's going to get you to where you want to go. If you believe it can't happen, it won't. If you believe it can happen and you're telling these stories, then of course, and you believe these stories, then of course it's gonna happen, it has to, because it's all about what we believe. Having faith in what we're telling, it's so important, and you are worth it. So today, begin by telling yourself another wonderful, amazing story about you, your life, and what you want to happen, and then, Make an amazing day, everybody. I love you.